Welcome to adding and adjusting letter mat and cut art. Here is what you will need to know to add and adjust lettering elements in your mat designs. Click New Mat Design on Mat Designer's main screen. We will begin by looking at just the letter mat, so click Cancel at the bottom of the new opening screen and we will be on the editor. Click the Openings tab at the top left. This is where we can add openings of all descriptions. Down at the bottom, under Other Openings, there is a button that says Add Letter Mat Opening. Click it, and a caption appears at the default size. We'll begin by clicking the Dynamic Outsides toggle on the right. This way, we'll be able to see the entire caption, no matter what changes we make. Click the Properties tab at the top left. This is where we can change every aspect of the caption. Let's begin by highlighting the text field, and we'll type in whatever name you want. Unless you're designing a photo mat, you are wise to click the Keep Aspect Ratio button under Parameters at the left. This puts the letters in their properly designed proportions. Click the drop-down arrow beside the font name. There are many fonts to choose from. Their designs range from classical to fonts that are more whimsical and decorative. There is a font that is designed to be used as a photo mat. Typically, a snapshot would be put behind each one of these openings. There are even fonts designed to be used with the pen tool or with debossing. These fonts can be very small about half an inch tall. Let's go back to the list and choose Futura. As you are designing and refining the caption, keep your eye on this minimum height field. You can make the letters smaller, but if you do, you risk creating tight curves and close spaces that will impair cutting. As you further refine the caption, the kerning field and the tracking field will help. The kerning field changes the size of the space in between the letters. The tracking field adjusts the size of the space in between words. Below, there is a button that currently reads 45 degree bevel. This is the cartridge selection button. Click it, and you are able to set the caption to be rendered with any of the cutting cartridges or to be debossed or drawn with the pen cartridge. Let's select deboss. Below, there's a type field. If you click the drop-down arrow, you are able to choose any one of the three debossing cartridges. Let's click the cartridge selection button one more time and select 45 degree bevel again. Click the type field and you will see that we are able to render the caption as a reverse bevel or as a v-groove. Keep these cutting choices in mind because all of them are available to you when you begin designing with cut art as well. Here we are back at Matt Designer's main screen. Another kind of decorative element is cut art. There are over a thousand cut art elements in Matt Designer. Here is what you will need to know to begin working with them. Click New Matt Design on the main screen. Once again, we will begin by working with just the cut art, so click Cancel on the new opening screen. We will be on the editor. It would be handy to know exactly what all these cut art are. If you click Help at the top toolbar, select Software Manuals from the drop-down menu. From the secondary menu, select Cut Art Library. This opens a PDF that you can search in order to browse to find the design that you want. This cut art library is also available at wizardint.com in the Guides and Manuals section. Each page is a folder. You can look through them to find exactly the cut art that you want. Remember the folder name and it will help you to find the item in order to add it to a design. To add a cut art to the design, click the Openings tab at the top. Down below, under Other Openings, click the Add Cut Art Opening button. This opens the Load Cut Art dialog box. Double click on the folder you want to open it and select the cut art that you would like. A 
thumbnail appears on the right and click OK at the bottom and the cut art appears in the work area. I'll click dynamic outsides just so that we can see the cut art a little bit larger. Click to select the cut art and click the properties tab at the top. This is where we can change every aspect of the cut art. Every cut art enters the design at what we call its original size. This is its suggested minimum size. You are able to make it smaller, but if you do, you risk creating small spaces and tight curves that could impair the cutting. As you are manipulating its size, you are wise to begin by clicking the Keep Aspect Ratio button. This will maintain its originally designed proportions as you change its size. Change the height and you can see the cut art get larger and its proportions remain solid. If after changing the size you would like to return it to its original size, click the Use Original Size button below. If you would like the figure to point the other direction, there is a button here under Options called Mirror the Cut Art. Click it and the kangaroo faces the other way. Recall how the cartridge selection button and the type field work in our discussion about lettermat. All of the cutting options are available with cut art as well. Whether you are working with lettermat or cut art, there will probably be an opening in the design. Let's add an opening to illustrate how to move the cut art around the design. Click the Openings tab at the top. We'll click to add a rectangle. We'll change its size and move it out of the way of the cut art and turn dynamic outsides off. You can click to drag the cut art to a new position. As you move it around, you can see that it snaps to the center line of the borders. You can move the cut art around using the arrow keys on the keyboard, too. If you select both of the items and click the Alignment tab at the top, it opens up the spacing and alignment tools that will help you center and position the items. These tools work exactly the same for letter mat and cut art as they do for openings. Review the tutorial on multiple openings for tips on using the alignment tools. If you are interested in learning more about designing with letter mat or cut art, visit us at wizardint.com. Click on the Education tab and select Classes to see our webinars on design. If you have questions, call us at 888-855-3335 or email us at wizardu at wizardint.com.